I'm back. In this lecture, we'll continue our discussion of pair plots. In the previous lecture, we saw how we could use pair plots to see the relationship between our variables. And we looked at the iris data set to see the relationship between, for instance, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. And we ended our discussion by looking at specific variables. We saw that by passing the varse attribute, we can see the relationship between any two variables from our data set. So let's look at the previous example that we saw to see the relationship between sepal length and sepal width. So SNS that pair plot, and then we'll pass our iris data set and the varse attribute, and we'll pass the list of attributes that we want to see, the list of variables that we want to see in our varse attribute. So sepal length and sepal width, sepal width, and let's run it. So now we see the relationship between sepal length and sepal width. And the diagonal show the relationship of the specific attribute or variable, the specific variable to itself. We can also change the size of our pair plot here by passing the size attribute. Let's see an example. So I'll copy this and paste it here. So in addition to this varse attribute, we can pass a size attribute and set it to let's say four and see what it looks like so that will make the plot bigger that will make our pair plot big okay that might be a little big let's pass size two that's small let's pass a size three so you can play around with the size to fit your demands. The pair plot method also accepts another attribute known as, actually I'll show you two attributes known as X vars and then Y vars. So we can pass those two attributes and specify what variables we want to see on the X axis and what variables you want to see on the Y axis. Let's see an example. So SNS that pair plot, as usual, we pass our iris data set. And then one variable is X vars. And we can pass the list of variables we want to see on the X axis. Let's say petal lengths and petal widths. So we pass petal lengths and petal widths. And for our y vars, we can pass, let's say, sepal length and sepal width, sepal length and sepal width. Let's run it. Oh, SNS that pair plot. Let's run it again. Here we have a nice pair plot of petal length and petal width on the x-axis and sepal length and sepal width, sepal width and sepal length on the y-axis. Okay, that's possible by using x variables and y variables attributes. We can also change the color from its default value of blue. Let's add a color attribute. To make it look nice, I'll continue this on a new line. Let's pass palette and then set it to be equal to HUSL and let's pass hue as species and run it. 
So here it looks much nicer, right? We have our species view, and then we passed a palette of HUSL. So it looks much nicer than the default blue color. This is more informative. Okay, great. Let me show you one more example. So when we started, we saw that by default, our pair plot has scatter plots and the diagonals are histograms, right? So SNS that pair plot, if I pass our iris data set, we see that we have scatter plots and by default, our diagonal is a histogram. We can also change this diagonal to some other kind. And we, we have another attribute for that known as the diagonal kind. So diag underscore kind. For that, let's pass a value of KDE so that our diagonals will be a kernel density estimate instead of a histogram. Let's see how we can do that. So SNS that pair plot as always, and then we pass our iris data set. And for our diag underscore kind attribute, we'll pass a value of KDE and run it. So here we have a kernel density estimate for our diagonal, which again shows the relationship of a given variable to itself. So here we have the relationship of petal width to petal width, which is represented by this KDE. And same for the other three attributes, the other three variables. Okay. And we can change the default color of our pair plot by passing palettes. So SNS that pair plot, we have our iris data set. And for diag kind, we set it to KDE. We can pass the palette attribute and set it to be equal to HUSL or all or the other palette values. And let's pass the hue attribute and set it to be species and let's run it. So here we have a nicer representation. And for the KDEs on the diagonals, it's divided by the three species, Setosa, Versicolor, and Virginica. Great. Another thing we can do is we can also pass a linear regression line to our scatter plots by passing the kind attribute. So let's see an example of that. So we have our SNS, that pair plot, and then we have our iris data set. And for kind, we can pass the value of regression. So this will add a regression line for our scatter plot. So if we run this, we'll see that a regression fit line is added to the scatter plots. Let me copy this one also and add a regression fit line. Okay, let's paste it. So SNS that pair plot, we have our iris data set, diagonal kind is KDE, palette, we have HUSL, for here we have species, and let's pass a value of regression, reg, for our kind attributes, and run it. I'm missing a comma here, let's run it again. So that, this is just to show you an example of this kind attribute. So here we see that a regression line is added to each one of the species. We have the hue here, Setosa, Versicolor, and Virginica. This is just to show you some more examples. But usually, 
we use this graph. So we use a single linear regression line to fit all our scatter plots. Let's see one example of the kind attribute with our tips data set. So SNS dot pair plot, then we'll pass our tips data set. And for kind, we can set it to be REG. So here we have a regression line for our scatter plots. So these are the examples are how we can use the kind attribute. Great. To summarize, we looked at pair plots in the previous lecture and in this lecture. We saw that we are able to see the relationship between or among various variables by using pair plots. And by default, we'll have a histogram that runs diagonally in our pair plot and it shows the relationship of one variable to itself. And we have scatter plots that shows us the relationship of one variable to another. And we looked at various kinds of attributes that we can pass to our pair plots. For instance, we looked at the hue attribute. We looked at the palette attribute to see different shades of our pair plot. Then we looked at the markers attribute. Then we looked at the vars attribute to see the relationship between two variables. For instance, here we passed sepal length and sepal width for our vars attribute. We also looked at the x vars and y vars attribute that we can pass to see specific variables on the x axis and on the y axis which is this and finally we looked at the kind attribute and and the diagonal kind attributes to change the default diagonal from a histogram to for instance a kde in this example and we saw how we could pass a linear regression line to our scatter plots thank you